everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. Welcome today on Friday for this extra haul that you are getting. I am very behind on my Easter baskets, so I need to share all this stuff with you because I am building baskets. I'm probably building them as we speak because for disclosure, it is currently Wednesday when I'm recording this, but I need to record everything and share it with you so I can put the baskets together. So we are going to get started on another haul. This one is extra this week, but these are a bunch of the finishing touches or kind of bigger items that I picked up for a bunch of the baskets. So I'm really excited to share them. I have three bags in front of me, so I need to get started because, because I have a lot of stuff. So a lot of these are baskets you've already seen me haul, but these are some of the items I'm adding. Some of them I told you about it. So first of all are these um, Stanley dupes. We can call them Seymour's. We can call them Stevens, you know, whatever sounds like fun, but these were really cute. They're like the ombre color ones that Five Below had. They're plastic on the inside. So, I mean, I don't think they're going to be quite as good at keeping your stuff cold as a Stanley, but they're going to hold 40 ounces of water and you're going to be able to drink it. So for $5, why the heck not? Um, I can fill that one. It's, I mean, the quality level is definitely a f closer to a $5, but you know, a tween girl would probably be happy to have it. So that is going in one of my tween girl baskets. Um, when I started building that basket, my first thought was Stanley dupe. I knew I wanted to put that in there. Um, let's see. I want to try to do some of this in some sort of order. I did a Mickey Mouse basket already that I did share with you guys. I did find this at Five Below. Most everything should be at the $5 mark. If I remember that it's different, I'll let you know. But I did get this one for the Mickey Mouse basket. Um, how cute is that little car? Um, they just show that they have Minnie and Mickey. They didn't have any other characters. I didn't even see Minnie, I don't think. I think I only saw Mickey. But I thought that that would be really, really cute. In the Mickey Mouse basket, there is... Oh, easy to get to. I did pick up some Mickey Mouse bubbles. I don't remember if I ended up seeing any Mickey Mouse bubbles at Dollar Tree or not, but they definitely didn't have the character on top if I did. And I can't remember the price on these. And I don't have the receipt in there. I don't think they were $5. I think they might have been two or three, but I could be wrong in that too. All right. Um, you saw me do a Sesame Street basket. I did not find any Sesame Street coloring books at Dollar Tree. I found some fun workbooks. I didn't find coloring books. So I picked these ones up at Five Below for a dollar. It's Favorite Friends Jumbo Activity Book. How cute is that? So um, I did crayons in every single basket and that is some coloring books. I was, all the younger ones, I was trying to do some sort of coloring book if possible. All right, for one of the tween boys baskets, the gamer one, I don't know what situation any of these kids are in. They're definitely in underprivileged situations. That's why they're getting donated baskets. And so when I did the gamer bag or basket, I thought how cute would it be to give some little games? So these are the ones I found. I found another one I liked better after the fact, but I had already picked these up. So this one kind of has that like Nintendo Switch vibe to it. it. says ages five and up, and it comes with 23 fun games, and it was $5. So I thought that was cute. And then this one is like a little retro um, arcade game, and it says it comes with 100 retro games. So that'll go in one of them as well, as will these cute signs. This one says just five more minutes with a little... <coughs> controller and this one says warning video game in progress any unauthorized entry will be eliminated um braxton actually has this one in his room my oldest um so uh, those are super cute i like this one better but they didn't have it at the time because i think i probably got it during his gaming birthday party so those were both really really cute um and my other tween girl basket was kind of like a sweet makeup themed basket I picked these up. How cute are these? So they look like little lattes, milkshakes, little sweet treat, but they are like bath bombs on the top and then a bath scrub on the bottom. This one is cotton, can cotton candy and this one is lollipop. And this one has like the little whipped cream look with that one has like the sprinkles look for the bath. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? So I did get these for those, the sweets themed basket. I can't wait to see those ones come together. Like I just can't wait. I think they're going to be so cute. All right. For Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. 
they had these. How cute is this? So it's a little play mat and you get a little vehicle to drive on it. And so I think I think I shown the Peppa Pig one already. So it's the same thing as the Peppa Pig one, but you get like the little town um, where Paw Patrol can just drive around with their little cars. Oh my gosh. So we got Chase and Marshall were the two that I probably found. I don't think I saw any other ones. Um, <coughs> and so I thought that that would be really cute. And if you didn't see my other one, I talked about it. The mat is 31 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches. So it's a good size play mat. It's not like gigantic, but it's like big enough to have fun with. All right. Also for Paw Patrol, I probably went overboard. I have mentioned already, if I have too much for certain baskets, I'm going to make a third basket. I might even do a mixture basket. I mean, who, it couldn't hurt to have like some Paw Patrol, some Mickey Mouse, some, you know, similar age grouped items all in one. So if I have too much stuff, I'm going to... I'm gonna break some of them down if I find that I need to. But I found these, these were like in the $3-ish mark and they're the Rain Rainbow Magnetic Sketcher. And so we had this one that had um, more of the, I can't remember her name. This pup's like kind of vibe to it. And then this one that's more like the regular pup vibe. And so I just grabbed one of each because I thought they were cute and they'll go in the Paw Patrol baskets just fine they also had Paw Patrol bubbles so you know I picked them up because who doesn't love some bubbles they had chase heads that was the only one they had but how cute is that with a little chase head um then for oh for Paw Patrol 2 we got some stickers these you get four sheets but at least Two of them are different. I don't know what's all in there, but at least two of them are different. So that was really cute. <clears throat> we have in here as well some other just smaller stuff. So grab handfuls. I like to include books wherever I can. And so these are the Paw Patrol books. They only had this one. And it's Rubble to the Rescue. Um, I love Rubble. How cute. Someone said, talked about Rocky the other day on a shore, and I was thinking it was Rubble, but that is not Rocky. Rocky's the recycle pup. So grabbed that book in there because anytime I can add something that will like add that learning. I also grabbed this book. This is going to go into my younger kids' imaginary playbook basket. You haven't seen that one yet, but um, I got some books for for that basket, and that's what this one is for because I wasn't finding them all at Dollar Tree. So when I saw that, I picked it up. And then these are for Sesame Street. They are those mess-free Imagine Marker. Is that what it's called? Um, so like this, you know, it won't write on anything other than like the magic paper and create the color. It's almost like color by, I don't know, not paint by color, but it'll create like the color on these. However, the magic works. So got that for the Sesame Street basket. I apparently was darn it I just dropped something it's a long way down there um into the stickers I think you know I went to different stores and I forgot that I bought some but these ones are reward sticker booklet over 100 stickers and they just have positive things like nice high flyer good effort sweet you did it I mean they're cute so oh and then it's an activity okay good it's also an activity little pad as well and so whoever gets it and I did get them crayons and markers, or at least just crayons in the Paw Patrol basket. There were these. It's a paper yo-yo, and I think you're going to see some other ones too for some of the other baskets. But these are the Mickey paper yo-yos. I remember these as a kid, and if you don't do it right, it's easy to mess them up. But you just kind of fling them, and they like get really long, and then you like fling it back, and then it shortens back out. And you just kind of like keep doing that back and forth and it like kind of shoots it out. So got that for the Mickey one. I haven't seen a paper yo-yo in forever. It says it extends to 21 inches. All right. Um, in the imaginary play basket, I did get some cute little toys. I don't remember what the other one is because I know I would have gotten two different things. But in here is this. Oh, I got a food set from Dollar Tree's Plus section. This one's a little vet or a little um, cat carrier. Oh my gosh, it has ears, I just noticed. So there's a little kitty cat in here. 
and a little adoption um a little adoption thing and a little food dish that's kind of it and like the cute little cat carrier but it was five dollars and I thought it was really cute so that's going to go in the imaginary play basket as are these little guys they're also little pet carriers so one's going to get two different pet carriers the other one's not because the other one has like a food thing but it's got like a little hard animal this one's a bunny oh my gosh that's so cute for I should got them both bunnies and then this one is a puppy and they're just cute little small ones and these were I think a dollar they were in their dollar section so I hope that they were a dollar that was my plan all right, what I dropped was one of these. So it's just a different color one. It's blue. But they're little friendship bracelets. They were a dollar each. Um, and so it's instead of this being pink, it's the blue one I dropped. But both of my tween girl baskets are going to get, or all four of them, are going to get little bra bracelets. And they have like little flowers on them. How cute are those? So I just grabbed one of each color, I think, that I saw. If not, maybe not each color, but I grabbed, you know, multiple colors. Oh, Paw Patrol also got some chalk because who doesn't love chalk? And I like the little chalk holder. These were a dollar each at um, Five Below, which is a better price than Dollar Tree because I did find some chalk you'll see coming up. I'm glad I didn't have any. Some Mickey Mouse chalk um, at Dollar Tree, but these ones have the little holder in them, which is nice because the filling of chalk is so yucky. All right, and then these ones are for the cute little food basket, um, like snacks and socks that I'm putting together. And so I did get some, um, this I don't know if this is the right brand, some bubblegum socks. I don't remember, but this is what they're gonna get. So I got some bubblegum to match the bubblegum socks. I got Chips Ahoy cookies to match the Chips Ahoy socks. They do usually have these at Dollar Tree. I wasn't finding them, and then I saw them at Five Below when I was out shopping for Easter baskets, so I just picked them up at Five Below. But most often you can find these at Dollar Tree too. And then I did also pick up a Ring Pop bath bomb because I picked up a batch. Well, I found this first, and I thought that would be really cute. And so they also have um, Ring Pops in there already and then these are just kind of fun because they kind of go with like the food foodie theme like I'm not matching up I'm not putting cheese in there thing but it's like a magnetic slide fidget toy so it's just a magnet but you just kind of like fidget oh my gosh my kids will get that taken away pretty fast but so I think that that's how you do it so I got a cheese one and a pretzel one I could get a bag of pretzels to go with the pretzel one but I thought with the whole food theme that that would be really cute all right I'm gonna pause you real fast I'm gonna kind of do a reset because I have everything everywhere because I have two other bags to show you one sec all right I cleared everything off and now I have my other bags so quick disclaimer I guess if you've been following along the whole time these are stuff that you haven't seen my baskets yet but there's the stuff I bought but I want to get it hauled so then when I haul those baskets I could just start building those baskets so that way you've already seen it and you've seen the stuff before it all goes in so anyway so I'm going to do a Toy Story basket and I thought what better fun thing to add than Mr. Potato Head because he's a big part of it and um I haven't done the the basket yet but that was a harder basket to do than I was expecting there's not as much Toy Story stuff out right now but then I also got this Toy Story bowling set as well. And both of these were $5 at Five Below. So I thought that those were cute little additions. Um, the Toy Story one too is one that I'm going to try to maybe find a couple more things for. Because they were a little harder to shop for. Um, I got another one of these. It's that mess free marker and little hidden coloring sheets. So I got that for the Toy Story one. And I don't know if there's anything else. There, there is but it's down there so we'll get there eventually and then once I get to my bigger bag here too I have some stuff that I've bought for either myself or my kids or personal shopping too all right I got these we're going to do a Disney princesses basket and this is a cute little um play pack and now that I'm looking at it I wonder if I picked up the same thing at Dollar Tree I hopefully it's at least just different so what you get in here is four crowns one sticker sheet and 24 coloring a 24 page coloring book you can kind of see it here hopefully they're different if they're the same then I'll just do another basket or donate it somewhere else um, and then we have these ones these are grab-and-go stickers 
So it says on here, so you have both sides, front and back, that you get 55, 155 stickers, six sticker sheets, three play scenes, and six coloring sheets. So it's just like a whole little set of fun stuff to do on here. So I grabbed that for the princess basket. Um, I did find crayons at Five Below. So I did haul some already from Family Dollar, and they were $1.50 there. I wasn't finding this particular set at Dollar Tree. I really would have just picked them up, but I wasn't finding the Crayola or the 24 packs. So um, then I knew I needed more, and these were only a dollar at Five Below. So I picked up hopefully all the ones I need. Once I get really going on my baskets, I'll know if I need to go pick up just some extra crowns or whatever, because I want every basket to have a crown set, except for maybe not the tween ones, because they don't need crowns. Um, I got one more of these mats for the Hot Wheels, one of the Hot Wheels baskets, so I'm doing Hot Wheels as well. Um, you get one vehicle and the mat, which is the same size, 31 and a half by 27 and a half. And I just think that these play mats are so cute. And so you'll see the other stuff I got from Dollar Tree as well as the other like bigger toy. I picked it up at Dollar Tree. All right, here's some more of those paper yo-yos. There's two of each of them, but I got Disney Princesses and Toy Story. Um, they were a dollar each. So I thought that that would be cute in those two particular baskets. And then I picked up some just of these like pretty kind of shimmery stickers too for the Disney Princesses. Um, you get four sheets. Here's the two different ones that they show. And from what I can see on here, they're super cute stickers. This was three or three fifty, and it's just a patch. I didn't know how much it was when I grabbed it, but I thought it was cute. Just like a cute little Disney princess patch. And then some more crayons in there. Um, let's see. Oh. Some more crayons i think i was just picking them up just to make sure so i should be set on crayons i found one box there was literally only one box of the disney princess crowns at five below so i grabbed it i did find another box at dollar tree this one comes with 36 crowns though and the one at um, dollar tree doesn't have that many so one one of the baskets will have more crayons for disney princesses i thought this was so cute so they are the little hair doing heads and so I found Ariel and Belle, and I think Frozen was the other one I saw there, and that was it. So I grabbed, <coughs> excuse me, one for each basket, because I didn't find really anything else that I was like gravitating towards as like kind of that bigger toy. So they'll each get like a little hair, little thing. So it shows like you can do a down do or an up do. And so I thought those were really cute. So that's gonna go in the Disney Princess basket. Um. And then we just have a few more things in here. I picked up some cute little sunglasses for the Disney princesses. And they look like this. I'll just show one. So it's got like the little princess crown right here on the corner. And then we have just some of the princesses with, it says, follow your dreams. We got some butterflies, flowers, and stuff like that kind of on there. And they got like that glitter look. I thought that was really cute um you haven't seen my crayola baskets yet i'm really excited about those one of them is kind of a bath theme and they had these cute little rubber duckies with the little dots all over them and i just thought that was perfect for like a crayola bath time themed basket i was looking for the little set of rubber duckies from dollar tree and i never found like the bag of them i found the frogs you'll see that so i picked that up but these little duckies i thought were perfect for that particular theme all right, the rest of this I picked up is for myself or for my kids, stuff like that for um, my nephew's Easter baskets, for Easter for my, my family type things. So first of all is a thing, my one of my kiddos saw it and said, uh, Mom, do you want this? Because they were with me at one of the shopping points. And I was like, well, yeah, I love Tay Swift. Taylor Swift, T Swift. Um, and so this one is put your Taylor, T, T, it says it here, T Swift knowledge to the test with lots of fun quizzes and questions and write down all of your thoughts in this ultimate journal and fact book for fans of Taylor Swift. Um, I don't think it's any secret that I am a fan of Taylor Swift. So I thought that was cute. It was $5. Um, I got this for my nephew's Easter baskets that I'm going to put together. We're going to do an Easter brunch at my house. So I want to do an Easter basket for my nieces and nephews that are coming over. And this one is chalk and it's pizza. 
How cute is that with the little pizza pie? And then this one is just kind of like a sun with all the different colors. So I thought both of those were darling and had to get them. <clears throat> I got these. I think those are three or three fifty. They were in a section 325. 325. They were in a section that looked like they were um supposed to be two dollars or under, but 325 wasn't bad either. <coughs> and these were 325 as well. I got these for my two older kids. Oh, I really should just get one for all of them. Eric likes to draw too, but not so much with pencils, but they're all into drawing. And so I thought this was cute because it's a little sketching art tin that's easy to take. You get eight mini sketch pencils, one eraser, one sharpener, one 16 page mini drawing book, and it all goes in the tin. I might need to go back and get one more though. It says take on the go little drawing set. I think because all three of them would like it. Eric just usually uses like more markers and stuff, but I think he'd still like that. All right, I am doing again for like my nieces and nephews. I do have one niece. She is graduating high school, so she's older, but I have had a lot of fun making her a little Easter basket. And um, with the, they have boba makeup at Dollar Tree. That was kind of my starting point. So I'm going to add this to it. It's a car sign that says this car stops for bubble tea. This car stops for bubble tea. And I thought that was really cute. And it was $3 at Five Below. I also picked her up these um, cute little pens and they're soda can pens. They're each black ink, but with that kind of drink theme, I thought that would be really cute in her little basket as well. It's soda, they all say soda, but one is strawberries, grapes, an orange, and a watermelon on it. And then lastly, I did find, if you watched my um, Dollar Tree haul earlier this week, one of them, the um, flower Legos at Dollar Tree, but they also have them at Five Below and they have a bunch of them. They don't, oh, they do show them all on here. But these are $3.25, so they're $2 more. So you're gonna pay slightly more for them. But they are um, block bouquets, ages six and up. This one I wanted for me, it's a peony. But they show them like all in a vase right here, which is really cute. And then they show all the different ones right there. If you hear any noises, it's because my husband's coming up from our dungeon that I placed him in since he's sick. Just kidding, but he was down there watching TV while I was recording because he's homesick. All right, um, so this has a lilac, an or orchid, blue rose, hibiscus, or birds of paradise um, options <laughs> on, on this one. So that's the options they have. I did pick up, they didn't have them all there. Maybe they did. Anyway, I picked up four. So I picked up the peony because that was the one I liked the best. They have the orchid that I think is really cute as well, the lilac, and the blue rose. I wish they had a red rose or a pink rose, but what are you going to do? So I was really excited to try those out. Um, I had mentioned when I hauled the Dollar Tree ones, I want to do like a family fun night or something where we can build little Legos, and I thought these would be really cute too to do with that. So I was excited. I found these honestly before I found the Dollar Tree ones because I didn't know if I was going to find the Dollar Tree ones. So I was glad that I found both. I'm happy with that. All right, guys, that that is everything for this Five Below haul. Stick around. Head over to Celebrating with Amber, actually, if you want to watch me build these baskets and get them all put together, see the finished product because I think they're going to come out really, really cute. Um, I cannot wait until I see you on the next one. So this is your extra haul, right? I have a schedule that I'm writing. So I'm putting this out on Friday as an extra haul. So come back tomorrow. I don't know what's going to be tomorrow on Saturday. A Dollar Tree haul, but I don't know what yet probably easter baskets so um come back tomorrow see me again you get to see me a lot this week because i'm busy so you get to see me a lot i can't wait until i see you next time don't forget to hit the subscribe button the bell button the like button leave a comment let me know what your favorite find was at five below i'll see you on the next one bye guys